Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the most evil British tabloids. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the UK's most notorious red tops and tabloid papers. Let us know in the comments which of these papers you read. Number 6. The Daily Star Chances are that you've seen a copy of The Daily Star in your local supermarket or newsagents, and the chances are just as good that on more than one occasion, it had the most absurd front page you can imagine. In 2014, its baffling Plague of the Black-Eyed Ghost Children headline made the rounds, a well it's gone back to many times over. But like the rest of the UK tabloid press, it's been deeply controversial since its launch in the 1970s. Not only did it follow the Sun's abysmal example in its coverage of Hillsborough, but in the 2000s, it was sued by the McCanns for libel after repeatedly insinuating they were to blame for their daughter's shock disappearance. And just two years on from that, the paper decided to blame video game franchise Grand Theft Auto for Raoul Mote's horrific crime spree based on absolutely no evidence. It's been disproven many times over that video games cause violent behaviour. But perhaps most baffingly, it also once published a completely made-up interview with Dwayne Johnson, to which he had to renounce it as being utter tosh. Number 5. The Daily Mirror In other countries, tabloid culture is often a right-wing affair. Not so in the UK. The true world leader in gutter presses, we've got at least one lefty paper that adopts the format sensationalist reporting style. But does being left-wing mean the mirror has dodged controversy? Not at all, and it's been at the heart of many scandals in the last few decades. Not only was it at the centre of a media circus when it came out that its former owner, Robert Maxwell, appeared to have stolen hundreds of millions of pounds from the Mirror Group's pension fund before his death, but with Piers Morgan at the helm in the 2000s, it began to properly court controversy. The big blemish on Morgan's editorship of the paper was his 2004 story that showed photographs of British soldiers apparently brutalising enemy soldiers, which later turned out to be a hoax Morgan had fallen for. It led to his sacking and an apology splashed across the front page, though not before it had doubled down on the story. Morgan later said that he doesn't regret publishing this, seeing it as worth the risks if it had been true. Number 4. The Daily Mail Since the 19th century, the Daily Mail has circulated on Britain's newsstands, and in that time, it's become the UK's most widely read and popular paper. It prides itself on trying to reflect what the majority of British people think about the issues of the day, like when owner Lord Rothermere went to interview Adolf Hitler about what a good job he was doing in the early 1930s. In fact, by some accounts, the Mail's pro-appeasement stance was used as evidence by the Nazis that Britain didn't actually care about the impending invasion of Poland, so they went ahead and did it. When the Nazis lost the war, the Mail did an extensive rebrand and miraculously survived. Remember, there were plenty of other newspapers at the time that didn't have fascist sympathies. In recent years, the Mail has been sued for libel and damages many times over, with lots of the claimants being successful, including the likes of Melania Trump, Sir Alan Sugar and Sir Elton John. Number 3. The Daily Express Like the Daily Star, the Express was also sued for libel by the parents of Madeleine McCann and now has a reputation for touting even more bizarre scientific stories than its fellow tabloids, often posting scaremongering stories about alien contact and asteroids about to strike us. Shocking when you consider it was once the most popular paper in the entire world. But as well as its constant stories about the McCanns, the Express also has a reputation for publishing non-stop front pages about Princess Diana, largely after her death. It's the place to be for baffling Diana conspiracy theories, to the extent that it forgoes reporting on major news events in order to keep printing rubbish about the Princess of Wales and how her death may have been an elaborate cover-up and its propensity for outrageous headlines got so severe in the 2010s that its own editor said he was offended by the stories it was running, and was going to try and rein in on the Islamophobia. Number 2. The News of the World The only paper on our list that you can't buy anymore, the News of the World was always controversial. 
It survived for over 150 years, even touting itself as the world's greatest newspaper, but couldn't weather the storm of the phone hacking scandals that happened between 2005 and 2011. The News of the World, along with many other Murdoch press outlets, was eventually found to have not only been tapping the phones of public figures like celebrities and the royals, but also murder victims and deceased British soldiers. It would also regularly try to bribe people into giving its stories, as opposed to doing proper journalism, giving people incentives to lie in its pages. In the end, the situation with the News of the World got untenable, even for Murdoch. With no advertisers left supporting it, the paper was shut in 2011, shortly after a fresh barrage of phone-hacking allegations that would be investigated by the British government in the Leveson inquiry. Number 1. The Sun Its reputation has spread far beyond the United Kingdom, and it's now known as a disreputable, gossip-mongering newspaper in many other countries. But the worst thing The Sun has ever done may not be something people across the pond are too aware of its coverage of the Hillsborough disaster in 1989, when it notoriously alleged that Liverpool fans were not only to blame for the disaster, but had been stealing from the deceased on the pitch. This vile reporting was enough to get the Sun banned from Liverpool, where it's still not sold to this day, despite the paper making some half-hearted apologies after numerous inquiries found that South Yorkshire police were in fact responsible for the 96 deaths. It's done more than that though, including attacking the Birmingham Six, a group of Irishmen wrongly sent to prison for terrorist acts that they had nothing to do with. The Sun has been sued by famous faces time and time again, including Wayne Rooney, and has been consistently attacked by the left for its non-stop support of Margaret Thatcher. This included printing a front page celebrating the sinking of the Belgrano during the Falklands War, and claiming that it alone was responsible for Thatcher's continued electoral victories in the 1980s. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.